Allah sets our salat for whom I mean, Yawm al Alameen. Welcome to another night, and Alhamdulillah, we had reached to the middle of the Quran, and now we are taking the other half. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from all of us and enable us to finish this khatm, inshaAllah, Rabbil Alameen. And you know, for maybe, maybe that's something uh, you didn't hear before, maybe. So do you know what does it mean, the khatm, for the Imam? Maybe it's for yourself, you feel it. But, and Brother Zahir, inshaAllah, would agree about, about this. The khatm of the Imam is the journey of Ramadan. The khatmah of the Imam in the Qur'an, that's his journey, his interaction with the Qur'an. It's like a baby. You start by Fatiha, Alif that's the beginning. Then you start all the journey, all the surahs of the Qur'an in your mind. Like you keep revising all the day. Ah yes, I will stop here. Then the Imam will take this, Brother Zahis will take this. So we, will, we have lots of arrangements behind the scene that you you, you, didn't, you don't see, and and Subhanallah, I mean, it's a it's a journey throughout the entire month, and you feel yourself all the emotions while you read the Quran, all the meanings, and that affects you as as a person, and Subhanallah, till you reach to the last of the the, the khatm of the Quran, you you start you know before the two three days before the khatm, you feel the the sense of I'm going to miss Quran. I'm going to miss recitation and leading salah with the entire khatm. Do I guarantee that I might attend another Ramadan? Do I guarantee that I might have long life to have another Ramadan? All these feelings comes to you, like if you are an Imam and you leave because you live the Quran, the meaning of the Quran. So that, that just on the side. Um, and another thing, we recited today Surat, the rest of Surat al kaf and the beginning of Surat Maryam. 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 Love <laughs> okay, that's great. Alhamdulillah. Surat Maryam, I just wanted to tell you, because especially our young generation, who is, who is Maryam? Mother of Isa. Mother of Isa, right? What's her name? Mary? Okay. And she is the mother of Jesus. So I'm telling to our young generations this information, so you need to have it in your mind, in your pocket. Because you have friends, you have Christians, and most of them, 80% of them, they think like Muslims don't know about anything about Jesus, about Mary. And, and when I used to get lectures in the churches, Wallahi, you know, the people were amazed used to come after the lecture, Imam, how do you know Mary? How do you know Jacob? That's our Jacob in the Bible. I said, no, that's our Jacob in the Quran. So we should, you know, everyone pulling Jacob from him to, to his side. But anyhow, you need to know this. How Islam looked at Mary. You will never, let me, let me tell that to you. You will never find any scripture, any revelation, any, you know, divine statement that talked highly about Mary, like the Quran did, like the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, did in his sunnah. I will stop one verse in the Quran because of the time and one hadith from Rasulullah. Allah said, وَإِذْ قَالَتِ الْمَلَائِكَةِ The angels have talked to Mary, and they said, Ya Maryam, O Mary, Inna Allah astafaki, wa tahharaki, wa astafaki, ala nisa'il alameen. Allah Akbar. If you have a friend, just show him this one verse. Allah, that will change all his concepts about Islam. Allah is saying, O Mary, Allah has chosen you. Allah has purified you. Allah has chosen you over the entire women in the creation. You see? That's the verse. 
ده حديث ابو رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم who would say صلى الله عليه وسلم صلى الله عليه وسلم that's not صلى I I know that food was good but where is Dr. Yusuf ما شاء الله the food was great الحمد لله I know the food that was good and you ate too much ما شاء الله but we need to wake up it's only 15 20 minutes okay who would say صلى الله عليه وسلم صلى الله عليه وسلم صلى الله عليه وسلم you need to get candy on lunch okay okay who will take candy just raise your hand Bismillah, mashallah. Dr. Yusuf? Okay, Brother Muhammad. Yes, who else? Yes, brother. Okay, ladies after the lecture. Okay. <laughs> just just wait for me and you will get to my and for the youth, wait for me to get candy and we can take one picture together. Okay. Who else want candy? Okay, one, two, brother, come on, mashallah. Eh, mashallah. Brother, it's a word, brother Hassan. <laughs> okay. Who else? So that was the verse. What's the hadith? Listen, Rasulullah said, Kamula mina nisa'i arba'ah. Only four women have perfected their iman. Whom you guess number one? Mary. Mary, number one. one. Number one on the list. Okay, but why the Prophet Muhammad didn't mention his wife. Oh. Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Why he didn't mention his wife? Number one, his own daughter. Those who are saying that Islam is fabricated and blah blah blah. Muhammad took all the scripture and he made Islam. Blah blah blah. Okay, so why he didn't put himself first? Why he put, didn't his wife first? Why he didn't mention his name? at every page in the Qur'an. Why he blamed himself in the Qur'an? So he said, four women had perfected their Iman. Number one, Mary. Number two, before Asya, Khadija, his own wife. Number three, Fatima, Fatima, Allahu Akbar. And number four, Asiya, the, the wife of Fir'aun. And remember those, it might be the next question for the golden waffle, inshallah. But we don't know. Remember, so I, now I give you the question and the answer. So don't blame me anymore. Okay, four women. Maryam, Khadija, and Fatima, and Asiya, the wife of Fir'aun. Sisters, remember this very well. So you might get the golden ring, inshallah, next time. Brother Ismail is here, and he's preparing the next gift, inshallah. They need, they need diamond, brother, inshallah. Inshallah, don't, don't worry, inshallah. Allah will give you barakah, inshallah. And uh, another thing, uh, we came to the middle of Ramadan, I remind you of zakah. Don't wait for zakah till the last minute. Imam, how much is zakah? Fifteen dollars per person. What about if I have a, a boy who is just one month? Yeah, you need to pay for him. Before the Eid Salah. And every year when we say to people before Eid Salah, he thinks, you know, just before Eid Salah I have to bring... No, 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 no. I told you before, the Islamic ruling that you can give your zakat since the first day of Ramadan. So you're supposed to give it 15 days ago. So don't delay it. Give us time to give distribution. Give us time so we can give it to the, to the people, inshallah. Don't wait till the last minute. The other thing, zakat, which is zakat mal you know the 2.5%? Yeah. Okay, most of people are paying zakat, zakat mal in Ramadan. So try to hurry up and give your zakat. Remember, Lots of people don't pay attention to zakat for two reasons. They think, number one, I gave my tax. I paid my tax. And we said hundred times before, zakat is not like tax. Zakat is completely different than tax. If you pay tax, that's fine. If you pay zakat, you must pay zakat because it's one of the pillars of Islam, like Shahada, like Salah, like 
like siyam, like hajj, zakah is one of the pillars of Islam. So you collect your assets, your money, and then you give 2.5 if you fulfill the two conditions. Number one, you reach to the limit which is called the nisab, and that money has to stay with you in your savings for one year. Is that fine? You get it? So may Allah help us to do this. Allahumma ameen. Number three, before salah. I, I noticed that lots of you, when Imam is praying or with uh, and he says dua, most of you say ameen like silently. Like, no, I just listen. No, you need to say ameen. It's not haram. It's not bid'ah. Say ameen. If the Imam is making dua, say ameen. You don't know. Maybe may Allah accept this dua, insha'Allah, Rabbil Alameen. Jazakallah khairan, barakallahu feekum, assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.